Hey, you all have to stop drinking this crap. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hi, my name is Chrissy Plevio. I'm a busy mom and an entrepreneur, and I'm talking about diet soda. Now, I know, you know, a lot of people have quit diet soda, but a lot of people still are not, you know, they're still drinking diet soda. And I think some of you are drinking diet soda in your closet. I really do. I, I have a hard time believing so many people just don't drink diet soda anymore. Um, so I've got reasons, three good reasons why you need to drop that dirty habit. I was listening to a podcast, The Nutrition Diva. If you're not listening to her, she's really good. Anyway, here's three reasons why you got to drop that diet soda habit. Okay. And it's basically artificial sweeteners, but you know, we all know people that like guzzle diet soda all day. You know, it's really, <laughs> I used to be one of those people, so I'm not being judgmental. I, I used to, you know, I would say it's been three years now. Before that, I used to, I could easily drink a six pack of Diet Coke. So I, I think about that. It's just so gross. But anyway, reason number one, artificial sweeteners may increase your risk of diabetes. How is that? Well, it, it may impair your body's ability to process carbs. Did you know that if you drink a meal, I mean, I'm sorry, if you eat a meal with a diet soda, your blood sugar level will be higher than if you drank, if you had that meal and you drank water. So with the diet soda, you end up with higher blood sugar levels. With the water, they're lower, and over time, that can cause you to get diabetes. Number two, reason number two, artificial sweeteners may promote weight gain. They promote the growth of the bacteria in your gut that is associated with weight gain. That's not all either. It suppresses the growth of bacteria that is associated with leanness. Number three, reason number three, I, this is enough so far, right? Isn't this enough to say drop the soda? Okay, and the last one is, you know, when you're drinking that diet soda is sweet, and you know, when you stop drinking it and then you pick one up, I mean, you realize how sweet it is. And if you're also adding like artificial sugars or sweeteners, to your coffee and other things you're eating during the day, you're constantly eating and drinking things that are really sweet. So is it any wonder when you decide you're gonna start eating healthy that when you eat that broccoli, it tastes like crap, it tastes like cardboard? Well, yeah, because you're drinking really sweet things during the day. Come on, I mean, so you, you know, you've know you got that heightened sweetness and then when you go to eat healthy food, you're like, oh, this tastes like crap, it tastes like cardboard. Well. You know, when you're not putting all that sweetness in your mouth all day long. No, broccoli, okay, it's not my favorite, but broccoli does not taste like cardboard. It's, you know, it's in comparison. So you got to drop that diet soda habit. I still see people drinking it, and I'm like, why, you know? Drink water. Drink water. It is so much better for you. Anyway, that's a quickie tonight. Uh, that's all I got for you. I hope you valued, I hope you found that information valuable. If you did, please like my post. Leave me a comment. I want to know if you drink diet soda. If you don't, I want to know when you gave it up. And why did you give it up? Did you, were you reading about how bad it was? And what soda was it? Was it Diet Coke? Was it Diet Pepsi? I like Diet Coke. Was it Diet Dr. Pepper? There's a ton of diet sodas out there. So leave me a comment. Let me know about your past or present diet soda habit. If you know somebody who's still drinking this crap, share my video with them or tag them in the comments. Okay, thank you so much for your time tonight. Everybody have a great night and drink some water. Put that diet soda down, honey.